Derek here with Climate Experts. Now, today I'm going to go over a reverse osmosis system. And we're going to actually change the filters out in this five stage reverse osmosis system I'm about to go over. So, if you have one of these spigots on your kitchen counter, this is to indicate to you that typically you have a filtration system under your sink. Now, if you look down here, you can see we've got our reservoir tank that holds the clean water. We have a five stage reverse osmosis system down under the sink. Now, we're going to change the filters out in this system, which typically the membrane lasts for a year, and these filters here typically last six months with normal use. So I am going to actually explain each filter. So stage one is typically a sediment filter. This is going to remove some of the calcium, magnesium, some of the sediment. This is a carbon filter. Now, this is going to remove some of the chlorine, some of the disinfection byproducts, the chemicals that happen with the reactions inside the pipes when they're trying to clean the water. And we have another carbon filter. And then we've got our reverse osmosis membrane. Now, this is what's taking out the really small uh, chemical items in there, such as the pharmaceuticals that people flush down the toilet. It stays in the water forever. Those PFAS forever chemicals that are from nonstick cookware. Really harmful uh, contaminants that are difficult to remove. The reverse osmosis system will remove it. And then we have a polishing filter, carbon, which will kind of make the taste and the odor of the water uh, better, improved. This is all that you have in your fridge filter typically. It's not removing a lot of those contaminants. It's not getting the water to a safe level. It is just removing enough chlorine to make the taste and odor a little bit better. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to replace these filters, and I'm going to show you how it's done. Thank you. All right, you're going to need this little filter wrench here to remove the filters. And I put a paper towel down in case there's going to be some water dripping here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove these filters. I'm going to clean the inside of them. And then I'm going to replace those filters with brand new filters. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to show you how good this system's working. Look at the color of this sediment filter. Now, if we want to look at the water in here, Take a look at the water inside of that. Dirt, contaminant. Just while that's filling up, I'll show you the difference between these two. These are, this is what's getting removed out of the water. All right, I went ahead and I installed the brand new membrane, and then I also installed the polishing filter. Now we've got our brand new sediment filter here, and then we have our two new carbon filters installed. Now we're going to go ahead and install these into the base unit. So you're going to want to run the water out of this system for the next 10 to 15 minutes until you get all the carbon out of the lines. And I typically will let that reservoir fill up completely. This is this reservoir right here. And then I would completely empty it and then let it fill up again so it can clean out all the carbon out of the line. Now I'm also going to check for leaks. I'd like to put a couple of paper towels under here just in case there's some small leaks. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm an expert, air, plumbing, and electric chill. We got